What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys two dubs gameplays again. This is going to be the second part of the Q&A. The first gameplay here, I go 11-1. and one. These guys don't look that good from this gameplay because I did really well, but the game before this was Octane. They had one of the best sniper shots I've ever seen in my life. They were hitting the B-cross all the time, so they were actually fairly decent, at least on that map. I don't know what happened to them on this one. And then, second one is from a different match it's a flawless gameplay however i had to mute the sound and i had to edit with it for a long time because it was one of the gameplays where my elgato recorded it at like half speed but not quite half speed so i had to try and figure out the clip speed and then the sound was way off so i did what i could with what i have um so first game is i go like 11 and 1 and the second game is like 7 and 0 something like that so enjoy that in the background but getting into it so q a from Den Ketz, how long have you been doing comp and how did you start off? Well, I've been doing competitive gaming since mm, about halfway through MW3. However, uh, at that point, I only played like maybe a GB a week or something. You know, it was just kind of for fun. I just kind of did it with my friends. Started off on the PS3 with it actually, so it wasn't really until like the end of Black Ops 2 before I took it really serious or anything, but. Yeah, that's kind of how I, um, how did I start? Well, I started because my friends were doing it. I, I just had a bunch of friends, they were doing it, so I was like, okay, let me try this. They were better than me at the time, now I'm probably better than them, I don't know, it's been a while since I've played with them, because they're on PS3, so, you know. Alright, next question from, let's see, from the Fire Grave. Do you think you can make it as a COD Pro and live off YouTube? Well, I would love to. I don't know for sure. I mean, as far as living off of YouTube, I see that my channel does grow abnormally fast, and I do get an abnormal amount of views compared to subscribers, and an abnormal amount of likes compared to viewers, and things like that. So, perhaps, maybe I'll grow enough to where I can. I don't know. I don't want to be cocky about it, though. As far as being a COD pro... I can't really say yes or no until I go to a LAN and see how that is, because my internet is garbage, and I know that's part of what's holding me back for in the online setting, but I don't know. It's a possibility, but I've always got to have backup plans. You know, being a pro and living off of YouTube is a rare chance, so it is more unlikely than not. Um, from x 66 since 6 x do you think the PS4 will be the lead platform for the next COD? Definitely not as much as I would love it to be because the PS4 is just simply better. Xbox One, you know, Microsoft's got that contract with them. It's just going to be on the Xbox platforms for a while until their contracts expire. Um, let's see. NM Curse, the first part of the question I've already answered, but I'll do the second one. And can you make a video on how to improve your weaker game modes? This is for the Q&A. Yes, I can. I will add that to the list, and I'll get around to it as soon as I can. Um, Patrick Spigno asks, what are the best control freaks for an AR player? So, what you're looking for here is, of course, they need to be concave, and they need to be as long as possible, in my opinion. Uh, I personally use the Havocs on the right sticks, and then the CQC on the left. However, right now, I've got them taped on to my Xbox One, because they're not designed for Xbox One, um, but yeah, just in general, go for concave and the longer length. Austin Pilgrim asks, I want to become a pro player. Where do I begin? You begin on, well, honestly, online game battles, pretty much. That's where most people start. Uh, you start making a name for yourself, you know, play some competitive, get into the scene, get to know people, make a YouTube channel, uh, start growing a fan base and you know as you become better and better then you want to move on into the tournament scene of course online tournaments and once you start winning those then you want to go to lands and then that is a pretty much where you're going to get known at and from there you'll get better and better teammates and eventually hopefully you will become a pro that's like the short and simple answer of course it takes a lot of work to do though um, L2E asks, if you can have any player on your team, who would it be? Oh gosh, uh, let's see. <laughs> There's so many good players. Hmm. 
Let's see. One player. I would. I can't pick. There's there's just too many good ones. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's just too many pro players. I guess if I absolutely had to, I would go with Nade Shot because I love his attitude. I love how he plays the game. So I'd probably go with him if I had to choose just one. All right, X Venomous Penguins or X? Wait, I'm saying that wrong. X Venomous Penguins. I'm sorry. I, sometimes I just can't even read. What's your favorite COD for competitive and why? My favorite is Black Ops 2, uh, because I don't know. That was one. That was the one that I just seemed to enjoy the most. I liked the way the guns felt better. I liked the maps more. It's just really where I kind of started. I mean, I know a lot of people like MW2 or COD 4. I never played those games. So that's kind of why. All right, Brennan Decker asks, "What is your favorite color?" Mm, blue. I'm gonna go with blue. With and then orange is a close tie. Let's see what is next. Job. Alan Hart asks, "Can you talk about general general strategies for game types?" Uh, basically, okay, the basic strategy is to stay alive and get first pick. So this can be done with, you know, a sniper or a good rush. Um, another thing is to set up for trades. You know, if you're going to die, make sure somebody else can pick up the kill. Another thing is to try and control the spawns if it's in, re in respawn. You want to, you know, make sure that they're not spawning behind you or everywhere because you're in like every corner of the map you know you just want to control the spawns and also to communicate well and coordinate your attacks um Layton MLG asks can you go over some 4v4 tactics that's basically what I just did but I could do a more in-depth video if you want me to so let me know uh divide asked what was your first cod my first cod was black ops 1 I played it at the last month of it being in its life cycle and I pretty much just played zombies on Kino Der Toten. That's pretty much all I played. So, yep. Uh, Gregory Jones asks, what do you think about Marty Merck slash Brett Star not joining flight? You know, I, I kind of liked the guy. I mean, there was some problems as far as some other teammates maybe not quite getting along as well, but you know, it's fine in my books. I mean, that was when I basically kind of went off the grid and didn't play. So I'm fine with him not joining. You know, it's whatever he's comfortable with and whatever's going to be best for him. So I'm fine with it. I'm still cool with him. It's all good. Okay, Shadow asks, why did you pick Mr. No Name as your gamer tag, YouTube, and Twitter? So I actually picked this gamer tag back when I was on PS3 when I was uh, kind of young. I think I was, what, maybe... 12, 13, I don't know, somewhere around there, but I I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of a gamer tag, guys. I was like the most uncreative person when it came to coming up with names, so I, I just couldn't do it. It was pretty sad, actually, but that's kind of why I, I chose it, um, and then from there, I just stuck with it, and then, of course, I found out about Nameless, and now everybody thinks I'm a Nameless fan, boy. That's not what happened, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, Tmar, what got you into gaming? I would actually say my cousins probably got... Well, okay, there's two answers to this. First would be my dad, because when I was really young, we used to stay up late and play, like, Mario and Donkey Kong on, like, the Nintendo 64 and stuff like that. But then more recently, when it got rekindled, would be my cousins. They really actually got me into gaming. I always looked up to them. Even though they weren't really much older than me, you know, they would they got into Maple Story and Combat Arms first, and then I followed, and then they got into Call of Duty, so I got into it, and so that's pretty much how I got into it. Okay. Uh, pro Toxic Gaming. How do I drop a player without hurting his feelings or making him hate me? That is a tough one. Uh, the best thing is to. Be honest, but, you know, kind of have some tact when you're doing it. You know, let him know why you're dropping him. Let him know what he can improve. If it's for, hopefully it's something simple like you're just not on at the times we need you to or you you can't be on as much as we need you to, something like that, instead of you just have no gun skill or something like that. But the best, you, you do need to be honest with them, but try and be kind. Don't roast them or anything like that. 
Uh, that's that's pretty much the best way to do it. Hilm XL, in your opinion, what is the best monitor for competitive Call of Duty? I'm gonna go with the BenQ monitors simply because that is what I have and I love it. It helps a lot. I know there are probably cheaper ones that are maybe just as good, but I go with BenQ. I really like them. It's what they use on the circuit, so yeah. Eloy Garcia, what are some things that you do to get your shots on point? I said this in the last Q&A, the, one of the better things to do is to go into a free-for-all, put it on veteran bots, and double the health. You have to keep your shot on more for a, an extended period of time, and it usually helps. Uh, then there's a couple more questions here about basically the same thing. Um, Sam Murphy asked, do you use control freaks? Yes, I definitely use control freaks. Jimmy Son, how often do you play GB with viewers? I actually don't play GBs with viewers, and there's kind of two reasons. First reason is I, it, I'm a little bit worried about my rank, not as much. Like I, that's not the main reason. Like I will play with viewers if it was just that reason. But the main reason is actually I'm extremely shy. I don't necessarily like meeting new people on Xbox, especially because everybody's brutally honest and kind of brutal towards each other so I'm always worried that I'll do bad in the GB and I'll make you guys mad at me or something so that's kind of why I don't I could maybe start doing it I don't know we, we could do it like a once a month thing something like that I don't know let's see okay this is kind of a weird question Frank Santiago asked this might be random but do you think 9-11 was a terrorist attack or an inside job uh, as far as I'm aware, it was a terrorist attack. I mean, I'm maybe there were some inside people. I don't know. I don't know 9-11 history very well. I just know it was a terrorist attack. So that's what I'm going with. Josh Palmer asked, how did you expand your clan to an EU team? It actually started as an EU team. The organization we're part of right now, Flight, uh, they started with the EU side of things. And then, and then they expanded to the US and then to Australia. I believe now we're back down to EU and US. Uh, and yeah, it wasn't me at all that did it. It was the organization head, Dave. Let me check how much time we got left here. All right, we still got a little time. Man, I'm not going to be able to finish this. Um, Flux Edge asks, how will you know you have the right people on your team apart from winning? When you can sit there and not argue, not fight, and just keep your heads on straight even when you're losing. That is, that's how you'll know. Uh, Slayer of Stupid Asks, just want to ask your opinion about the competitive scene in COD, whether it will die, and how do you think the comp scene can be improved? So, first thing is, I don't think it will die. I think it will continue to grow for a while, as long as Advanced Warfare is good. And then to improve the scene, first thing is, the attitudes of the players need to be improved. We need to see some more respect from players, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is we need a different game mode besides domination. I don't know. I just hate watching it. It's so boring. But uh, yeah. And then let's see. Austin Pilgrim asks, how long will it take to get my Shark Q controller? Or Shark controller, sorry. Uh, it'll probably take a couple weeks if you order it That and you live in the U.S. So yeah, let's see here. Looks like we still got about a minute. I'll try and answer one or two more. Uh, a. Derex Win asked, What is the best layout slash setup for a scuff controller? You want the trigger stops, and then you want the A button mapped to your left paddle and the B button mapped to your right paddle. That's what I use right now on the Xbox One. I cannot tell you if the different six heights really make that much of a difference because I don't have mine yet, but yeah. And then I'll try and do one more here. Insanium Gamers asks, why do you choose the AR? Are you better with it? Are you more comfortable with it? Or is it just in Ghost that you use an AR? I started out as a sub player back in Black Ops 2 and then I switched to AR because that is what people needed me to play. There's not as many good AR players. I don't necessarily like it. I prefer to run around with a sub. But um, yeah, that's just how it happened. So we're out of time. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, 
then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.